Aries. Welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any information you need, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you to everybody for all your support, whether you're a new subscriber, whether you have reached out for personal reading, or bless me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is greatly, greatly appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so much for all the support and helping me get the messages out to the people that uh, need to hear them and being a part of the channel's growth. So thank you so much. So Aries, let's see what spirit has for you for, and this can be for whenever you see this till whenever. I do consider all my readings on my channel timeless even though they are dated i just do that so people know um in which order they were released but i do consider them all timeless so take what resonates throw away the rest i hope everybody's doing well happy november happy fall all right so i'm going to pick three i'm going to get three uh messages from each deck we'll go over them and then we'll clarify with a tarot card for each one to give a little more meaning so if you want to skip ahead feel free to do that okay Aries what are the spirit messages for Aries what do they need to know at this time please thank you so much for Aries spirit messages for Aries and one more for Aries please thank you so much what do we have for Aries Okay, I knew there was one that wanted to jump. I could feel it. And you'll have to pardon my nails. I didn't have time to do them. And with the type of full-time job I work, which is a very uh, labor job, <laughs> uh, my nail polish chips all day long. So I didn't have time to touch it up. I didn't have time to redo it. So you'll have to excuse my nails. I wanted to get these readings done. I didn't want to have to, you know, fought around with my nails. So... <laughs> All right, so Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay, a few more for Aries. What messages do we have for Aries? What do they need to know at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. One more for Aries, okay. I'll get three from this deck. Hope everybody enjoys uh, these series, um, these series, spirit messages. Um, I do get a lot of uh, positive feedback, but they don't seem to get a lot of views, but I'm going to keep doing them, hoping that uh, they'll pick up. So I really enjoy doing them, and some of the messages that come out are really, really um, strong messages. So, all right, Aries, what messages do we have for Aries spirit? What do they need to know? One, two, and one more for take that one. All right, let's see what we have for you, Aries. What do we have for Aries? We have Butterfly Maiden Transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. So if Great blessing. So if some of you are going through a lot of changes right now, just know it's for your better, it's for your betterment and it's to make you stronger. It's to um, improve your life, your situation, whatever it is for you. If it doesn't seem like that right now, Spirit wants you to know it's just the transformational process to just stay positive, uh, keep that faith, hope, and optimism alive, stay in the high vibration, and just know at the end of this transformation, that you'll have many blessings coming in. So whatever that means for you, whatever you're going through right now, only you know your situation. It could be different for every single person out there. So you take that how it resonates for you, whatever you're going through right now. I'm getting it may seem dark, it may seem gloomy, it may seem like it's really tough right now. Uh, it's really a tough period, but this period will make you stronger when you come out the other end of this transformation. Diana, focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make and you will make your mark. So, 
whatever you're setting your intentions on, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever uh, your go your goals are, just to stay um, just to stay focused here and focused on your outcome, focus on your desire, focused on your manifestation, whatever you're trying to do here. It could be anything, it could be a new job, it could be losing weight, it could it could be anything, getting a new home, moving, traveling, whatever it is here for you, starting a new project. They want you to really focus, keep focused on that, on your intentions and moving forward. And it says you will make your mark, so don't lose hope. And it could have to do with some of you with this transformational process. Say you're leaving one job to start a new career or start a new, your own business or something like that or something creative. Um, that could be it too. Or it could be two separate messages. You take that however it resonates for you. Then you have here Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So whatever you're praying on, Whatever you're um, hoping for, whatever here, Mother Mary wants you to know, that, again, with having that faith, hope, and optimism, that your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations, your manifestations, all been heard, and you can expect this miracle. And you may not see it because you're going through this dark period of a transformation, but it's telling you to keep focused and moving forward and to expect miracles. So I kind of feel for some that all intertwines together. For some of you, it could be three separate messages. So let's see what we have here. We have Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. So yeah, we got changes, transformation. So expect a miracle. So Cosmic Gateway. So this is the universe. Universe. Hearing your prayers and your affirmations what you're visualizing and trying to accomplish. It starts with all with your thoughts, your prayers, your whatever you're doing here. Cosmic get, Gateway, the universe has your back. They know what you're going through, what your attentions are, what, what you're focused on. Whatever you're doing here, they know and they, uh, they got your back there. Okay, so now we have Mercury, open communication. Get a weight off your chest, speak up with love, and be heard. So this may be a separate message for some that if you need to speak your mind uh, to a person, place, thing, whatever here, get a weight off your chest, whatever you need to communicate. And if you've been holding back, Spirit wants you to know now is the time to communicate. Or this could be if you're someone that doesn't really stand up for yourself or you kind of let people walk all over you or you don't really um, voice your opinions. Spirit wants you to know. It's time to start having that um, open communication. And we have Krishna, devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. So again, with this cosmic gateway and this transformation, your focused intention, expecting a miracle, being devoted to that and moving forward in your spiritual guidance, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your past over loved ones, your angel team, everyone, they all see your devotion and they see, uh, and they may try be trying to communicate with you also. And they recognize what you're going through and they support and they love you unconditionally. And they may maybe also be trying to, my throat just got blocked up, trying to communicate with you in some way, whether it's sending you signs, symbols, uh, repeating words that you see or numbers, um, finding I some type of items all the time. Or seeing certain animals or things all the time or hearing like song lyric the same song over and over pay attention to the lyrics so all right so what else do we have here we have music your connection to music is healing for yourself and others wow and I had just said that about music so this could be related over here to your spirit guys trying to communicate with you through music or for some of you maybe you're going into the music field in some way shape or form or if this is a passion of yours, a hobby, something you do for fun that gives you a lot of peace, a harmony, balance, um, clears your mind. And if you haven't been um, doing that, it's telling you to maybe you need to start doing that again. Or really listening to music or going to listening to live music, concerts, dancing. I don't know, anything to do with music here. 
you have a strong connection to music not to ignore that and if you have been maybe you need to start even if it's like meditating music relaxation music just sitting relaxing um, with music we have study reading research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career so some of you may need to study up more on whatever you're going through here uh, if some of you are moving forward in a new direction or something like that spirit wants you to know you may need to make sure you know everything you need to know and if you feel like you need to learn more study more go back to school take a course uh, social group or something here where you can learn spirit wants you to know that you should probably do that if you've been thinking about it or maybe you should think about doing something like that so you can gain more knowledge or some of you may be thinking about going into study music and then we here have sensitivity you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly so pay attention to your uh, body your emotions your feelings um, even uh, physical changes like if you eat something and it doesn't agree with you or you drink something or being around certain smells or something here um, to really pay attention to that and you may need to cut certain things out or not be around certain things that may cause or may trigger you I'm getting also it may cause you to be like oversensitive or over emotional all right so let's clarify I feel like some of these go together some of them don't so let's clarify these messages for you Aries oh, Aries All right, why is transformation here? Oh, it's way too many. Why is transformation here for Aries? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Why is transformation here? Okay, we'll take this one. The Knight of Swords. So this is um, fast-paced action. So there may be something that you're going through. It may have happened rather quickly, maybe unexpectedly. Um, the Knight of Swords can be like a foolish... A reckless kind of energy so I don't know if that makes sense for anybody here that maybe have caused something here to quote to make you go through like this transformation or this experience you know if somebody does something reckless reckless or foolish um, might have been an unexpected or fast something fast that happened here or this can be an energy of just wanting to rush ahead very quickly like could be whatever some of you are going through here so you just want it to like you just want to go through it and be done with it already like very quickly kind of action so be careful that energy that you don't do anything reckless or foolish so however that resonates for you so it may be a very quick quick transformation here maybe something that uh, happened very quickly or will happen very quickly unexpectedly okay so you see the transformation here with the knight of swords like rushing this way like being very focused and just like rushing ahead very quickly so what is this focused attention wow so we have healing here with the um star energy so we have faith hope and i had said that i had said that with these energies to keep your faith hope and optimism and a positive energy his, this is the star energy wishes and dreams coming true something divinely guided faith hope optimism kind of energy healing energy so yep focused intention I think if you keep your focus you keep going on your wish your dream here will come true just to remain positive have that faith hope and optimism it's a divinely guided path for you and it may happen very very quickly here with the knight of swords you know so expect a miracle what is that about so yeah you could be trapped in your head like you're not seeing clearly um like this is being trapped in your head uh thoughts mental uh, entrapment but it's of your own doing like just clouding your mind with all these thoughts that you don't really need to have in your head but you can free yourself at any time so there is a miracle coming that your prayers have been answered but you're not seeing or hearing that you're like I don't think 
that my prayers, my um, affirmations, my thoughts are being heard. I don't think this is going to happen. Just being, you know, mentally trapped to that. But they're like, no, they want you to know, expect a miracle that they have been heard. You don't need to be in that um, mental state of bondage. You can break free from that. Okay, so what is this cosmic gateway about for Aries? What is this cosmic gateway about for Aries? So we have the hangman. So this is says your thoughts and magnetic and powerful miraculous changes are, are occurring. So this is being kind of stagnant still, uh, going with the flow, not really taking any action, seeing things from different angles, all, per all perspectives, just kind of hanging back until you're ready to take come down from that tree or whatever it is and take action. So, so this is a state, you know, of thinking, but not taking action and getting, you know, enlightenment and seeing things differently. So until, so cosmic gateway here, the universe wants you to know while you're hanging back, thinking, reflecting, and not taking any action, they're hearing all those thoughts and um, things going on in your head. And, you know, your changes will come once you start, I feel, I feel once you start taking action, then all these changes will occur and the universe will um, will just guide the way. They'll just make things happen for you. All right, so once you become truly clear here and ready to take action, then everything will work out for you because, <laughs> wow, divinely guided Ace of Pentacles here. So, well, we have over here open communication. So this is like divinely guided new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles could be career, monetary, um, anything here. A solid, stable, new opportunity for the future. Being financially set or just abundant in some way, shape, or form. Stable, grounded, building for the future. So this open communication could be um, could lead you to this new beginning. A more stable new beginning in your life, if that makes sense for some. Um, or you could have this coming into you, somebody offering you, finally opening up to you and offering you something here. It could be a relationship, it could be a job offer, it could be money, it could be anything here. And be very, very stable for the long term. Alright, so, what is this devotion about for Aries? What is this devotion about for Aries? So we have the Queen of Swords. So it says here, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. And whenever I get the Queen of Swords, this always reminds me of divine energy. That's how spirit makes me, has me read it. Well, not makes me, but has me read it as divine, the divine, divine energy here. Coming in with the Sword of Truth leading the way, leading the path for you, helping you to see the light, help, helping you to see truth and clarity. You know, in the swords, it's all about truth, clarity, uh, standing up for what you believe in, not backing down, telling it like it is, cutting away things not serving you. But I, this is just divine here, is your spiritual guidance. And they recognize everything that you're going through, what you're doing, whatever it is for you, and you are loved unconditionally. So that's just confirming that. Wow. The divine energy with devotion. All right. So what is this music about for Aries? That's way too many. What is this music about? Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So we have the Nine of Swords. So this is stress, uh, worry, anxiety, fear. Yeah, some of you can probably relieve a lot of stress and anxiety. I had said that about listening to meditating music or relaxation music. That whatever has you bound and tied and stressed, if you haven't been doing that, if that's something that you used to do but you 
like don't do it anymore. Spirit wants you to know it may be time to um, get back into listening to your meditating music, your relaxation music, or playing music, or listening to your favorite music. Whatever you did to relax your mind, body, and soul from stress, worry, fear, and anxiety, that you need to uh, go back to doing that. So I feel it could be in fact affecting your health. So I think this will uh, really improve your health and your well-being, your emotional health, your... Um, Physical health and always. All right, so what is this study about for Aries? Wow, so we have the Hierophant. So maybe some of you could be learning um, about a new religion. You could be learning about or being very committed to, if it's not, because this is faith, religion, spirituality, commitment. Structure, organizations, education, the law, all that kind of stuff. You know, doing what's moral, just, and right. Values. So I feel like some of you may be very committed here to um, studying, reading, research, education, uh, gaining confidence, clarity about your career moving forward. So some of you may be very committed here to uh, advancing yourself in some way, shape, or form through study so that you can improve your life. Your career, your you know monetary material things, or some of you could be studying up on a new religion, spirituality, uh, and things like of that nature too. So, however that resonates for you. All right. So, what is sensitivity about? You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So, what are you sensitive that you need to make changes about? So we have the page of pentacles here. So it could be about a child. Um, but, you know, the page of pentacles is also about, can be about a student. It can be about here. What I feel like it goes here with this because the page of pentacles is like a student learning uh, stability. It could be about an, a solid offer coming in or something like that, communication. But... I feel like studying here, being very committed to either studying and improving your career or something like that, or your faith, spirituality, like really learning more about whatever path it is here for you. So what is this sensitivity about? You're becoming more sensitive and you need to make changes accordingly. So what is that for Aries? Wow, the Empress. So this is taking Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter here. So this is about taking charge, taking control, taking the lead, um, being a ruler, taking control of your life. So this is telling you that whatever is not serving you here, that makes you over-emotional, over-sensitive, that brings you down, can be person, people, places, things, whatever here. Spirit wants you to know that if you need to make changes cutting out things no longer serving you, whatever it is here, you need to take the lead, you need to take charge of your life, of your circumstances, and make those changes necessary. So only you know what that is. Could could be, like I said, people, places, things. Um, could be even, you know, exercising more, losing weight, eating better, or cutting away people, places, things no longer, no longer serving you, like I said. So... A lot of different energies here. So before, I'm going to go over the bottom of the deck, but before I do that, Aries, if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you subscribe, do please hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a spirit messages reading. I do a singles reading for those who are single who's coming towards you. I do a love connection reading for someone you may have a connection with. And I do a general tarot forecast, which is more of a general reading for the month. So if you're interested in all those readings, please do subscribe and hit the bell. You'll be notified and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So again, I feel like this goes over here with studying, like learning, mastering your craft, working hard, putting in the dedicated effort to move forward. Again, material, monetary, education, um, just working hard here. Eight of Cups here. So again, I feel like over here, this is walking away from things no longer serving you or fulfilling to you. And I feel like over here with sensitivity, 
if you have things that um, trigger you or are very sensitive for you, make you emotional or whatever here, you need to take the lead, take control. And if you have to turn your back, walk away or whatever here, spirit wants you to know that's fine to do that. It could be permanently, temporarily, whatever here, spirit wants you to know walking away may be the uh, best option for you because it will lead you to success, victory here with the six of wand energy. Could be about a offer coming in. Some of you may be getting proposed to, offer of um, a date, offer of you know commitment or something, or just being very moving forward in your life in some way, very successful, victorious. High Priestess. So again, listen, needing to listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, your faith, your spirituality. Um, trusting everything will be fine, trusting in that. And, you know, you may need to keep some things to yourself. Um, High Priestess knows a lot, but she doesn't share a lot. So keep in mind that if there's things that are said to you, you and you promise not to say, or whatever here, to keep your promises not to, you know, spread rumors or talk, you know, and things like that. Or... You know, if you make a change, just going through things, whatever you're doing, if it's, you feel it's best to keep it to yourself, spirit's like, that's totally fine. If you want to keep these things to yourself, then keep them to yourself because you will have emotional fulfillment in every single way. Joy, happiness, could be love. It could be uh, just life in general, fulfillment in every single way. Good luck with the rainbow. And nine, being some of you may be single, but you would be very stable, secure, independent, well-grounded. Um, finances will be good. You won't have to worry. Just being good in all ways and being, some of you, just single and independent and fine on your own. And having that strength, courage, bravery, that willpower, endurance to keep moving forward with the chariot energy. Wow. Being that stable, secure, independent person, just totally fulfilled in every single way. Listening to your gut, your, intu your intuition, keep things to yourself that you need to. Success, victory, or offers coming in of some kind. Could be romantic or not. Walk away from things no longer serving you. Spirit wants you to know that's totally fine. Just concentrate and work on yourself. Okay, Aries. Wow. <laughs> A lot of messages there. So I hope some of them resonated for you. And best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.